Hello? Ha! What it do? It's Custom Can too. Yo, so what is up and what is good YouTube the World Wide Web? As you guys can see in Full Life HD, it is your thrift guide, host of the most, Paul Cantu. Back at you guys with a brand new sneaker customization video. It has been such a long time since I did one of these, I figured I might as well grace you guys with a brand new sneaker custom. So I had a pair of $6 Stan Smith Adidas that I picked up at the thrift. And without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how I transformed them into some La Flame Stan Smith Adidas heaters. Let's get into it. All right, to begin this custom, let's crack into the supplies. You need your bedraggled pair of shoes you're going to paint. You also need some leather paint, of course. Angela's Direct is definitely the plug. The link to them is down below in the description. Also, acetone is essential anytime you customize a pair of shoes to remove the clear protective layer of paint. Also, a glove, of course. We stay strapped. We don't raw dog in these streets all the time. We also got some Dawn dish soap. Now, this is essential to clean the shoes. You're also going to need water, a mug, and a toothbrush and then a towel to wipe down the whole shoe like little Boosie would say wipe it out. and then last but not least of course you need some paint brushes to actually apply the paint on the surface of your kicks so getting into step one is actually cleaning the shoe so I have this nice little nail cleaner that's in the shape of a car with some really heavy bristles I'm just dipping that in my concoction and potion of soap mixed with water and just scrubbing down the whole shoe to remove the dirt so once you get done wiping it down the shoe already looks a million times better but then the next step is actually to get the acetone to rubber glove the fuck up and then begin rubbing down the shoe now the acetone is super dope in case you guys just want to turn a shoe like re-cocaine it make it very very white then the acetone is essential for getting rid of all of that nasty like dirt conglomerations that actually sunk beneath the level of the clear coat of paint so as you guys can tell on the tongue it is absolutely becoming very very shiny very very white and it's like a crest whitening strip was laid down all up on this gym so then the first step in actually painting the shoe is to get some Angelus yellow in my case that is where I begin the flames and I'm actually just painting and freestyling these flames straight off the dome so I start off with the yellow on the inside of the shoe as opposed to the outside because I may make a mistake so yellow paint is essential to be the first color because if you make a mistake with yellow you can always cover it up with the darker colors again if you guys are not comfortable with just freestyling flames like I am then of course you guys can draw them out stencil them trace some flames that you print off the internet and cut out do whatever you got to do to actually make the flames come to life now i brought the flames all the way around the toe box because i thought it'd be a really cool look and i honestly was very happily surprised by the fact that my intuition was correct now working the flames on the outside my skills already had increased as i said boy level up on my straight dragon fire spitting game so these flames look like they were peeled off a damn 1950s hot rod and applied straight on to this stan smith silhouette wet and I was absolutely pleased with them so once I was done with the outline of the flames I just went ahead and added the yellow all up on the interior to solidify the flames in the game so the next step was actually getting some white paint and adding some highlights to the flames that I already applied and the reason why I got the white paint was actually because that midsole was straight disgusting like the off-white of the midsole made the yellow paint that I put on look really really fucking gross so I had to actually go ahead with the white paint and re-cocaine the outsole slash midsole why is that because whenever you paint on top of pure Colombian cocaine white that Pablo Escobar then the paint really pops out that you put on top of it I also use the white to add some nice highlights to the flames on the inside and outside of the shoe because again the more layers of paint that you add the more realistic the flames look so the next step was actually to get some yellow orange and begin the nice gradient of the flames to make a realistic look and appearance so from yellow I went to yellow orange and then once the yellow orange was applied I go to orange and then from orange to red and that's how you create a nice little gradient for anyone who isn't an artist. Also, when you add the orange, you can extend the flames, add some nice little curly cues, some little like fire flickers, whatever you guys want, you can continue to add. And that is the beauty of painting, man. Whatever you guys see or whatever you guys think and feel, you can just apply. If you make a mistake, paint is forgiving. You can always cover it up or just go back and redo it. So once the orange and yellow were applied, the shoe was looking straight popping. But then when I started adding that red, it really came to life. When the red started licking them flames, baby, it's like that Clifford colorway came alive for can too. And these shits look like a damn inferno. Dante's inferno to be exact was good. Lucifer, shout out my boy Jesus though, baby. Or Muhammad or even Buddha if that's the way you roll. Shit. 
So once the flames were pretty much done, I created the gradient along the toe box as well, adding the darker red, blending into orange, then blending that into yellow orange, of course yellow, and then white. And it made it look very, very dope and very realistic. Now when you flipped and did the shoe, the interior flames didn't quite look as up to par. And this is a key example of if something doesn't look quite as good, paint is malleable so you can go back in there and just mold it to your exact liking and specifications. And that is what I started to do. And it honestly turned out really fucking sick. So once all the flames were done then it was time to make them pop off and come alive on the shoe by adding the dark angelus black paint and when i added this paint man i'm telling y'all these shoes come alive in the nighttime baby there's a reason cavemen started fires baby they feared the night dog and they wanted to cook they like fucking mammoths and shit but i started off with a big brush to start blocking in the black on top of the white regions and i used a small detail brush to actually get in between all of the flames now when you're applying the black paint you need to be very very careful and have that steady ass hand perk on a million because if you start drifting into the flames you can turn some thick flames and some anorexic flames and let's be real we like our flames like our women thicker than a snicker and if you like dudes you're a chick or if you're a chick and you like chicks a dude you like dudes the same concept still applies be motherfucking careful damn it shit we all inclusive though baby was good voila just look at that magic baby all the black is actually filled in however the flames look a little bit rough and jaggedy around the edges so i'm using some red paint right now to just smooth the edges extend the flames where need be and also getting a detail brush and filling in some black to make the flames look very pointy this is an essential step to actually complete the shoe and create a professional look overall and it definitely makes the shoe stand out when you're rocking and shocking it to actually go in there and do all the fine detail work speaking of detail work i added a nice gradient on the trifoil Tri-Leaf Adidas Old School logo on the back and I also added a nice Sunset Stan Smith gradient on the tongue to make it look sprung. Now if you guys need any painting supplies whatsoever please check the link down below it definitely helps your boy out and now without further ado here are what the shoes look like complete and on feet let's get it. Get on the Bitch, every day is Friday and every Friday 13. Pussy wanna talk like he body said he heard me. One foot never gave, fuck boy, you ain't even worth three. Put that back together, you don't want it with my fucking team. Why he never go when he said he pull up on the scene? I'ma laugh it off, go and send that boy to LT. We all know your past, boy. Mind your man to say, please, bitch, boy. Alright bro, come right here. Look at this man in the video. I like them motherfuckers in the pieces though. Thanks bro. You send them yeah. all out. Yeah? yeah. They here, what's up baby? What's up man? Thanks man. Uh, <laughs> that boy with us came for a dime. Hey I painted these, that's how I was shooting the video. For Cause I, I hand painted these, yeah. Why well, do you get some shit done? What's yeah. up though? Yeah, them hoes is tight. Yeah. Yeah, you did that one. Yeah, man. What's her name? Uh, right now. Hey, y'all see how it goes, man. Y'all better get y'all shit painted. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life by roosting. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to. 